Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I'm out here uh, to show you the capabilities of the Thrunite um, or the TN42. It's this massive uh, thrower. It's a, a flashlight that just has an unbelievable reach. And I've tried this se in several different places and discovered that um, you really have to have clear air to really appreciate the full scope of what this thing can do. So anything like dust or sand or, or water vapor can get in the way. Um, you know, and, and you've got to have something at the far end to even be able to see. Uh, you know, and other things get in the way, like I've noticed, I don't know, the curvature of the earth maybe. But anyway, I'm out here uh, to show you, and I'm going to compare it to a couple others. So I'm going to turn on my little uh, Catapult Mini. So that's what you see right here is the Catapult Mini. This is about um, a little over 100 yards. There's about 100 and... 50 yards, but way down at the far end, way down there, that's pushing almost 300 yards. Uh, I've got the uh, Catapult, uh, the next model up, my favorite dog walking light. Um, this is the Catapult V6. Whoops. This one has a much greater spill, as you can see. Um, and then I'm hitting way out there. So that's about 150 yards. Whoops, and back around. It's like disturbing the wildlife way out there. So now, let's take a look at the, get it up into the trees there. Take a look at the uh, great big monster. This is the TN42 V2. Ready? Here we go. Look at that thing. That down there, you're looking at almost 300 300 meters, 300 yards away. So you have to be able to see something. You know, I tried this out at the ocean and there was nothing out there. So you could fire it. I can see all kinds of wildlife. I can see ducks out there, you know, a couple hundred yards away. Um, but just this monster reach. Um, it's like a lightsaber, you can see. I get it in line with the the camera lens. Um, so you can see as I drop it down, that's a pretty big, um, pretty big flood or spill, but then also a, just a horrendous reach. So it really does uh, cause uh, one to have to rethink flashlights when you are using something like this. Anyway, so let's head on inside and look at these a little bit closer in the light. All right, back inside. So this was the little Catapult Mini that I fired off. This was the Catapult V6, um, my dog walking light. And this is the TN42 V2. So you can see this thing is just a monster. So let's take a closer look at it. First of all, it's, it's not a small lightweight light. That's not what it's designed for. It's not compact in the least. This is a giant glass reflector. It uses a smooth or giant glass lens over a smooth reflector. Great big LED down there in the bottom. This thing um, punches out because it's a it's a thrower. It's a little bit different in the way you you might measure something like this, but it's it's just under 5,000 lumens. It's 48,000 or 4,800 lumens. But the way it's concentrated gives this thing technically a range of 1,800 meters. Now I was only shooting it out to about 300. Um, I did play with it in some long reach situations. I couldn't get it to film because by the time you're out around five or 600 meters, the camera really doesn't pick up much. You know, a little, maybe little glow. Um, plus it's hard to see something that far out. So when I originally did some video work out by the ocean, I ended up not being able to see anything on the camera. I might have been able to detect it a little with my eye. So that's why I backed it off and went to something a little more constrained. But anyway, so we got about 4,800 lumens um, reaching out to about 1,800 meters. Um, it has some other settings. The general, that was the turbo mode, you know, the full 4,800. Then it's about 1,800 lumens um, on high, about 425 on medium, 
about 80 lumens on low, and then it has a firefly mode. If I hold that down, it's actually on. This is pretty amazing. Firefly has a runtime, not in hours, <laughs> but in, uh, not in just days, but in a proportion of a year. They're rating this at 180 days. Half a year, this thing will stay lit, which is pretty incredible. Um, I'm, I'm wondering when we'll get the first one-year flashlight. Um, and then, of course, it has a strobe mode as well that is just blinding at almost 4,000 lumens. Now, when you reach out at a huge distance, as I mentioned, you've got things like uh, debris in the air, water vapor, smoke, dust, sand, the curvature of the earth, I guess. You know, things start to really affect the light at a huge distance. Um, but it also lights up the area that's out there. So if you wanted to provide light to something way in the distance, you could do that with this as well. Now let's take a look at this a little closer. Inside, I've got my four cells. And these cells here um, are 21700s, 3.6 volt. Each one is 4,000 milliamps. But what's kind of neat about this light is I can put one cell in and run the light. You see that? Go ahead and turn it on. There we go. So, covered with dust here. Um, so you can see, even with one cell, uh, this is a, a great design which allows access to running it um, even just at a, a single cell voltage. Um, once you put all these guys in, um, there is so much power here that the charger that comes with it. It does come with a USB-C charger. Uh, it's fixed, notice, designed for this. It uh, has an output here, right there, of 5 amps. 5 volts at 5 amps. So it's a high-powered output. Otherwise, if you had a slow charger, this thing would take quite a while to charge up. It also comes with um, a shoulder strap and a uh, set of uh, extra O-rings and a port cover, and I've already had to use an extra port cover because when I had this thing hooked up, um, it was on the go, I had my USB charger in it, um, and I grabbed right there, I grabbed both of these and yanked it out. Um, so I ended up sending one of these off into the hinterlands. I don't know where it is. I'll look for it. But uh, to operate this, um, it has a, uh, a memory for whatever your last setting was. If you hold it down, it kicks on the uh, Firefly or the lowest uh, um, setting. So you don't have to worry about, you know, exploding your eyeballs if you don't want to. Just, just hold it down. And then if you double click it, it goes to the full super intensity. Whoops. And then if you triple click, click it, it goes to the strobe. Um, just give a strobe warning there. But anyway, so this thing is a beast. It is, it is a very specific type of light. This, when you get to a thrower of this size, um, it, it is harder to um, explain what it's like without really seeing it. I mean, it is a, a tremendous spotlight. It is different than a car headlight. Um, it's different than some of my other spotlights. Um, and I just, I, I find it stunning. Um, when I'm, when I'm using the thing, it's just, it, it, it turns night into day. Anyway, um, this thing also, uh, has an impact resistance of about one and a half meters and an IPX8 rating, two meter water resistance. Um, so very well designed. Um, the interface, um, is crystal clear. When you plug it in, you get a, a charging, a, um, you can kind of see there's a little bit of blue there. Tells me the battery's okay. Uh, it'll turn red, obviously, kind of that stuff. Um, great uh, cooling. It does generate heat on turbo. You do feel it, but if you think about the power, you're almost expecting recoil from the thing when you turn it on. Um, I've used it in a few uh, uh, dark camp areas, and you really have to be careful because um, you can light up somebody's camp half a mile away. So take some responsibility. But anyway, that's it. The Through Night TN42 V2. And this thing, it's it's not inexpensive, but if you are into uh, probably world-class powerhouse thrower lighting, um, if you have a use for that, spotlighting, search and rescue, 
um, evening curiosity. If you live around mountains, hills, um, lakes, and you want to find out what's out there um, in the dark, this is the answer. And with that, dock out.